Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I will talk about retain all method which we have in the hashtag class. Sorry. Uh, right here, M A I N control space bar main. Okay. So we will see that how retain all method works. So basically, uh, if you look at the retain all method, it will retain all the object which is matching to the other collections of object what i'm trying to say that is let's say take this example okay i'll just cop i just copied the set object so this is the one now i will create one more set of collections of object and i will give the name to set one okay and i will change this to set one cool now what i will do is i will remove the two from here and in ciso syso if i will do set one dot retain all so if you look at this method signature of retain all it uh, returns boolean and the input to this retain all method is the collections of object so when we say collections of object we need to supply what object you want to retain so from this object from this set i uh, from set i want to retain all set one okay and then you do a print so this print will just be print the return type of the method but let's say when you want to see the actual data after retain all what is the output that we need to print the set object and you know that in the set classes if you go to the set classes here and when you do uh, control o okay uh, here we have few methods has set has object iterator uh, okay okay fine fine i was looking for something i did not get it that's fine so when you go here and when you just run that let me see the output see say look at this after uh, retain all your output is test one and test three right why because if you look at the second object when you did retain all test 1 and test 3 it matched in the first set whatever matched test 1 and test 3 it, it got retained so this retain all will retain all the matching object from the first set same thing what happens here is instead of hash set when you changed this to linked hash set your output is not going to change your output remains same so even though instead of link set if you'll do here tree set okay and import the tree set class so uh, save uh, just first save the project and just mouse over on that click outside again do a mouse over when you do a mouse over you can see that this guy is present in the java util package import that copy this and change the reference so both class implements to set interface so there will not be any issue what you need to do that is just change the reference so do one thing don't change the reference like this okay the simplest way is what you do you go here right click go to refactor okay and when you are doing a refactor you you remove this paste the one which you want to be refactored and just click on enter so everywhere you can see that reference reference got changed in one shot okay that's how you should do that okay so this i did a tree set again i will do a tree set here also and i will make this to the one please when you are making the reference of the object start from the small letter don't start from the capital letter okay and here print a tree set true clear now if you look at the output both the output 
you can see that did I not print okay remove I print but after that I did not print the tree set again after removal sorry after retain I did not print that and then let me put a demarcation line okay See, look at here there is no change in the output right for now you are not able to you are not able to see the change in the output uh, no yes you can see that the change in the output the thing is this was the hashet output the first where the day i mean the person order was not maintained and this is your tree set output where the insertions order was maintained in the ascending order and by now you know that your string class implements comparable interface that is the reason uh, the sorting will work on this and similarly what you can do that is instead of tree set if you go and modify to instead of tree set if you go and modify to linked hash set okay go here I'll keep this just change this to here I cannot do a refactor if I'll do a refactor the problem what will happen is my this tree set will also get refactored okay so I cannot do that in the same file so do like this okay also do like this then change the reference to one change it sorry what is happening okay yeah and okay okay now everything is done and then here we will print this linked hash set anything is left out here no so now when you see the difference we can see that uh, the first one where no insertions order was maintained okay no insertions order was maintained then there was ascending order and then here the insertions order is maintained okay though you are not able to see that because uh, the way you have the data uh, you cannot figure out much here but yes it is it checks for the insertions order okay but since we we have very small data we are not able to figure out but the if you look at the output actually hash set will not maintain insertion order tree set will maintain ascending and this guy the linked hash set will do a insertion order okay it will maintain the insertion order the best part is if you look at the output of all three is same okay so all three classes work in the same way retain uh, retain all method has the same implementations in all the classes okay there is no change so by now you you got a clear picture of how all classes are similar except then few point the few point is when you have a custom object and when you try to store into a tree set and if a custom object is not a type of comparable or a comparator you will get a class cast exceptions apart from that whatever we have seen till now it's almost common all methods are common okay working procedure is not common but all methods are common only the thing is we were not able to do uh, we were not able to add custom object in the tree set since my custom object was not implementing comparable or comparator interface but all methods are same in all three classes yes working procedure is different whereas your linked hash set maintain the insertion order tree set will be ascending hash set it will not maintain the insertion order all three will not entertain the duplicate data all three uh, your duplicate data will get overridden and why it will get overridden i have shown you through the uh, hash map implementations concept right but apart from that in tree set it has some more feature which we'll see that later here we will not focus on that so what i will do with this i will close this video okay and in next video i will talk about the cloning concept which we have in the set class. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this.